Are long shadows still a thing? A couple years ago, this was a really popular style in motion graphics and graphic design. And I wanna show you how you can do it right within After Effects. We're gonna learn how you can quickly create the long shadow effect and also how you can create a cool animation with it as well. So let's dive into After Effects and learn how. So here's the long shadow animation that we're going to be covering, which will teach you both the ability to create a long shadow style and also how to animate it. And then I'm also going to show you how you can restrict the long shadow to sort of a shape or something like this so that it's limited to just within some sort of boundary that you set up. Awesome, so in After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition by clicking the new comp button. 1920 by 1080 is great. All those settings are perfectly fine. Actually, I'm gonna decrease this to like three seconds. Go up to composition, trim comp to work area. So first let's set up a background, command Y if you're on a Mac or control Y if you're on a PC this time. Let's go for sort of like a pale grayish green. That's kind of cool. All right, so next we wanna create our text. So take your text tool, type in your text, whatever it is, hello. And now we are going to, let's make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna use the align panel to center it. Okay, so to create the long shadow, the effect we're going to be using or this thing or the tool is actually the repeater effect. And the repeater is only applied to shapes or it's at least it's not applied to actual uh, text. So we have to convert this text to shape layers. So right click and choose create shapes from text. So now we have this new layer. The old layer was kind of turned off with this eyeball right there. And now the new layer is just a bunch of different shapes, which you can see by dropping down the drop down, going under contents. And now you see each letter is an actual shape that you can edit. What we want to do is click the add button here and choose repeater. So now what the repeater does is it repeats the main objects in the content folder or in this content structure. And you can see that there's some different hellos that are repeated. If I drop down the repeater settings, you can see that three copies have been made. And the position of the repeater is basically 100 pixels to the right or 100 points to the right. If I drag the Y position up or down, you can see that it places the repeater up or down. And if I increase or decrease the number of copies, it actually creates more copies. So you can kind of see what we're going to do. We're actually going to set the position, X position to one and the Y position to one. So it's going basically one pixel to the right and one pixel down. And then we're going to increase the number of copies until it goes all the way to the end of our video. So we're gonna go, I think around 500, maybe 600 will work. So now we have a white basically shadow. So we wanna change the color to this. So select your layer up here and choose fill up at the top and choose sort of a shadow color. So you can go straight black or sort of a dark gray. And then you can also play with the opacity if you want or just leave it as that color. But now we want our original text to be on top. So we're gonna actually move our original text layer that we converted to shapes above the hello outline and then turn on the eyeball. So now we have this cool shadow, which is awesome. If we want to restrict it to sort of a circle or a square, let's actually do an ellipse. Let's just make this ellipse go over our text, let's align it to the center. We're actually gonna change the color to something different, pink. Now let's put this beneath our hello outlines and we wanna restrict the hello outlines to this shape. So first I'm actually going to duplicate this shape layer, Command D on my keyboard. That's Control D if you're on a PC. I'm gonna move that duplicate above the hello outline and then if I go to my hello outlines to the track mat column, if you don't see that, click the toggle switches modes button down here and choose alpha mat shape layer two. It's basically using the shape layer two, the duplicate that we put on top as the restricted boundary. So if we move this layer, let's select this shape layer two. If we move this up or down, it's going to 
change where the shadow is restricted. So if you want it to match exactly the shape layer from below, make sure you don't move the shape layer up above. So that's one cool kind of style. And if you want to move everything around then, probably the best way is just to select everything and then you can move it around by moving it. You could even pre-compose this if you want by right clicking and then pre-composing. And now you have this sort of hello sort of logo right within there, that pre-composition that you can move around, you can change the size, etc. Okay, so I'm going to actually undo this. So that's one style. Now I want to show you how to animate it. So if you're not interested in animating, you can click off this tutorial. Make sure you like it, subscribe and comment if you have any questions. But next, I'm actually going to delete these shape layers that I created and then make sure I change the track mat from the outlines to no track mat so we see it. So all we have to do really is animate the number of duplicates. So if we go under contents, repeater, then copies, here at say one second, we can set a keyframe for copies by clicking the stopwatch icon to the left of copies. Then let's go back to say like 15 frames and then set this to zero. I'm going to easy ease these so we get a little bit of flow to the animation and the movement. So I'm going to select both of them, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9 on your keyboard. All right, so this is a pretty re render intensive animation because it's actually creating all these duplicates. And so in the middle, you can see that here we have 62.4, here we have 105.2, but you can see as I go through this keyframe, it starts to animate. So I'm going to drop down my preview quality. And then if I play through, you can see what's happening. Pretty cool, right? If I want to play, again, change the speed a little bit more, I can, with these keyframes selected, go to the graph editor. Make sure I go down to this menu right here to choose the edit speed graph. And now I can go in to these keyframes by selecting them. We have this little handle that I can bring in on each side and it makes it pop even more. And maybe that's going a little bit too fast so we can extend it by moving one of the keyframes out so it's a bit longer. That's pretty cool. So that's how you animate a cool long shadow effect or just create a long shadow easily in After Effects. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.